All right, bars bumped up to the stage three of reopening Idaho, which began May 30th, and it took about a week for a cluster of cases to pop up in the heart of Boise's downtown bar scene. That's around the sixth and main area. Central District Health put out a warning yesterday saying 10 people have either confirmed positive or are presumed positive after they spent some time in and out of at least a handful of places around there. In an effort to continue the contact tracing, the warning listed six bars where these 10 visited over last weekend. Just in case you were there and you need to know you may have been exposed. But that likely wasn't the only places that these people went last weekend. And listing just those six bars has the owners, they have the owners feeling like, well, they become the fall guys. Joey Prechtel talked to one of those owners to find out what this mention means for them. He also asked the health district to find out why these places were pointed out. They just said, oh, they went downtown and walked down all these streets and went to these six locations. Vague, very, very vague. Ted Challenger owns three bars in downtown Boise. Two of them were named by Central District Health as locations where people could have been exposed to COVID-19. Those two are Strange Love and Amsterdam. They didn't get COVID at the bar. They brought COVID into the bars. He wasn't happy with CDH naming two of his bars. Why don't we know more? I understand HIPAA laws, but why don't we know that, you know, where they work, where uh, they possibly contra contacted it and uh, left us kind of hanging out there naming just us businesses. After finding a cluster of COVID cases, CDH says the 10 people, five who are confirmed with COVID and five who are probable, all say they were at six bars in downtown Boise on June 5th and 6th. Those are Silly Birch, Tom Graney's Strange Love, Amsterdam, Cactus Bar, and Hump and Hannah's. The ones that they shared were the ones they remembered specifically spending periods of time in. Challenger says the bar owners felt singled out. There's no finger pointing saying we know that it was at this bar at this time. Instead, CDH is saying they know some people had it, and those people say they were inside those bars. When we see this spike in a, in a close-knit group of friends that were going around, we have to alert the public. And naming the bars isn't blaming the bar owners either. It's more on the people going to the bars who aren't distancing or wearing masks. No, I can't say that people that are going out to go party hop and bar hopping are thinking about that. And my message to them would be, you need to be. It's something that Challenger sees himself in his bars. We can set it up, but if the customers don't follow it, we're, we're at a loss. It's an argument that's been made since the beginning of this reopening plan, Joey, that bars are kind of unique in this situation, and we're all kind of a little bit surprised when they were bumped up a stage. But we know of these 10 people. They told the health district they spent some time inside these bars last weekend. What can we expect going into this weekend? Well, Brian, we can expect a lot of different things. For one, from Ted Challenger himself, he told me that he will be shutting down his bars, which means Amsterdam, Dirty Little Roddy's, as well as Strange Love will be closed. He told me this is because one of his employees at Amsterdam actually did test positive for COVID-19. So he said he's closing everything down to get all of his employees tested because he wants to put their health first. But it also means from Central District Health that if you were down in this area, Capitol and Main, 6th and Main last weekend, and you were out at the bars, as well, whether the six named or just walking around. If you start to feel some of the COVID-19 symptoms, then go and get yourself tested. It also means in the broader scheme of things from Brandon Atkins himself is he's urging young Idahoans, especially the demographic age 18 to 29. This is where we're seeing the most cases of any age range in act in the state, whole state of Idaho. He wants those Idahoans, those young adults to continue practicing good behavior. Things like physical distancing yourself, wearing a mask when you're going out and you're going inside you're going to be around strangers, especially people that you're not living with and people that you're not seeing on a regular basis. And it also from Ted Challenger himself, he was wondering why are bars being singled out here when there was just a very large vigil in downtown Boise where more than 5,000 people gathered. I asked CDH this question. The answer is actually very simple. Brandon Atkins, who's a program manager, told me that it's because they just aren't yet seeing people who, testing positive for COVID-19 all saying they were at that vigil. He said if they start to see a groups of three, four, five people, then they would put out a warning saying if you were at that vigil, you could have been exposed to COVID-19 just like they did with those six bars. Brian? That's right, and if we hear about it, we'll let you know about it. Thank you very much, Joey.